reset in the middle? Okay. Sit wherever you want. Whatever you think, Mike. Huh? You're the coach. Sit wherever you want. I'll sit, I'll sit away from the middle. Don't be big. All right, that's the first quote. What's good, the, Deshaun, good first quote? What's the Deshaun ankle? How, any idea how long? Folks, okay? Are they in the hurricane? Uh, they worry about that? Like okay. They're okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. I'll just see. Okay. Yeah, so That's scary okay. stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys send those. I'll get them. Yeah, let the guys go first. Then. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send it. We'll get you done faster. Which one? 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 What's up? Move over. Smack in the middle, that's how you got to do them? Yeah. Hey, girl. You're front and center. Why not? <coughs> front and center, that's big time. Yeah, your front folks are inland, bull, right? Mm -hmm. the, yeah, yeah. East Coast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, left to right, we've got uh, Jaquan Blair, Josh Hoffman, John Grayer, Daniel Reed, Chris Ferguson. We'll just go right in. Questions for the players first. Oh, Chris, Chris Burke, uh, what, 11 for 11, 270, uh, your first 11 passes. Uh, you, you must have felt pretty good tonight. Yeah, no doubt. I think we had a good week of prep. Um, you know, I was seeing everything that we prepared for, and obviously the game plan was really good because everything we called worked out. And, you know, I had guys open. Obviously, offensive line, I don't think I got touched much. So they did an unbelievable job. Um, wide receivers, you know, they, they were patient. They did what they had to do, and they made plays. And that's a big thing to, you know, credit them. And obviously, you know, running backs, opening up the run game makes it easy to throw. Really, it was just pitch and catch. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a good night. We're definitely gonna enjoy it. Um, you know, it was a good good start to the season, but you know, after tonight, we're definitely we're moving on. Have you ever had a game like that, over 400 yards, at any level where you just were in the zone for for that long? No, definitely not. Um, I think I think I've been in the zone before for sure, but uh, you know, it was a good first half, and you know, we're just gonna keep continuing that. We've never had a game like this where you just everything you just. Everything just was uh, clear. I think, you know, Jacksonville State was definitely one of those kind yeah. of games. I remember Rhode Island, my freshman year, had uh, five touchdowns against them. It was kind of similar. Um, you know, just seeing everything slowing down, I think that's, you know, a tribute to work I put in the past, you know, all off season and obviously, you know, into the summer and camp. Well, what did Emmanuel bring to the offense tonight? Just obviously he made some nice, nice moves. Yeah, no, you saw him running. Um, you know, offensive line obviously did a great job. They gave him holes, but he made plays. He made good cuts. Obviously, you saw him in the end zone twice, so that's a big thing coming in here. Um, you know, as a transfer, learning the offense, really understanding it, getting a grasp for it, and knowing what we're trying to get accomplished, and that's a big thing. Your first you know, game. I mean, did you feel comfortable? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I felt really comfortable. I felt comfortable playing back in with Ferg. You know, we, we try to we try to go over stuff that, like like this like the small details, but I think I felt very comfortable back there for my first time out there. What was it like for you? Uh, it was really it was really fun. It, it was definitely a, a, a great experience being out there with with them, and uh, I'm just looking forward to more. Jaquan, the guys had a great night. You know, uh, you know, he, he completed the first one, but a lot. Of, you know, we were talking. We thought their coverage wasn't that bad, but you guys went up and made plays. Uh, well, yeah, uh, tough flight does what tough flight does. You know, we go out there and make plays. Uh, Ferg puts the ball in a position where only we can make the play. And we go out there and we compete and make plays whenever we can. And that's a credit to not just me, but all the receivers on the team. You guys just feel the balls in the air, Jones? Oh, yeah, of course. 100%. No doubt about that. Because they were saying they were, a lot of them were 50 50 balls that you guys won. Uh, I mean, a lot of people say that from the outside, but I think the UMA community knows what Tough Light can do and what we bring to the table. Was it Tough Light, Benedict? You and Nick? Your first game in, in, in two years. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Last year. What, how did it feel like being out man, there? It, it felt real good, man, to be out there with the, uh, with my teammates. Uh, getting back to just, you know, that vibe of you, uh, having fun, making plays out there. Uh, Seeing the excitement, seeing the offense just go crazy, you know, it got me ready, gave me the, that juice I needed. So when I stepped on the field, I knew I had to make play and match their match energy, you know, and that's, that's what happened.
Gerard, you guys had to shut down. They had a, a very well-respected running game, 241 yards a game last year. You guys shut it down. What shut it down? What enabled you to shut, shut them um, down? Film prep. They uh, they tip a lot of things on film, and it tells us where the ball is going to go. And also with our defense, we dictate where we want the ball to be, and like so we can make plays, makes it better for everybody. But we just, you know, as soon as camp ended, we just cranked the film, and we knew what was coming. And we just, in my opinion, had one bad drive that resulted with penalties. But besides that, we were shut down. And I also all credit to film and how much work we put in the D. You know, a lot of times we've talked to the offense about feeding off the defense. You guys fed off the offense tonight? Yeah, they, they came out. After the first one with Earn, then it was another big one, then another big one. I said, oh, yeah, the offense is they, they rolling. So the defense, you know, we had to do the same thing, just roll three and out, three and out. A couple more. Juan, do you think this game showed exactly what this passing game can do? Uh, yeah, it's just like an insight of what we bring to the table. Because, you know, Maine's known for black hole defense. But the offense, the culture, and we, we have something to prove, too. And we come out every day at practice. We go, go hard every single rep, film prep like they do, make sure we scout out the opponent. And we just feel as though we have something to prove, too. We want to prove that as an offense, we can also make plays and put up points on the board. What improvement, Jaquan, have you seen in Ferg from uh, last year to this year? Uh, like I said, uh, his confidence. His confidence has grown tremendously. And uh, his technique basically just reading defenses faster, knowing where to put the ball precisely, what coverages they're running, and all that stuff like that. He's just becoming a, a better leader. And at the end of the day, you want your quarterback to be able to lead not just the offense, but the team. And he's doing a very good job at that. One more, Chris. The, uh, I mean, was this game as good as this offense can be? Or do you think you can do that? Uh, I mean, the first half was good, um, but going into that third quarter, too many discipline penalties, too many things that you know we preach about, we talk about getting rid of, and they showed up tonight. Um, you know, MAs we call them uh, missed assignments. So if you're doing something, you know, if you you've got a play call and you don't you don't do your job, it's an MA. So too many of those as well. So. You know, there's a lot of things we left. There's still there's still plays left uh, that we left out there, and you know that's disappointing. But obviously, good first half. But you know, we gotta be able to finish, gotta be able to close, and that's a big that's a big topic we've been talking about. So I think it was a it was a good entrance, good first game. But you know, there's a lot left in the tank. The right. big one next week, obviously, you play an opponent next year. Next yeah, definitely. You know, it's a whole different game. You know, we're not in Orno. You know, we're not playing an FCS team. We're playing a FBS team who's legit. Um, you know, a lot of players down there. You know, as Coach Nick said, the deep south. So. You know, it's the same thing, though. Same kind of prep. Um, you know, next game's the most important, and that's what we're focused on. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Statement, your overall thoughts about the game? Yeah, I mean, I was, uh, you know, pleased overall with the with the first half. Um, you know, there was some good execution. I thought we moved the ball well, of course, and we scored a lot of points. Um, you know, defensively, there was really one drive in there uh, that we got a couple penalties and things like that that hurt us. But you know, overall in the first half, I thought we we came out with a, a strong mentality, and, and I was pleased about that. Disappointed in the penalties. Uh, you know, it's something we harp on. You know, I, I, I really got to keep harping on that and making sure that we take care of that. Uh, you know, there's going to be penalties throughout the game, but um, discipline penalties, that stuff needs to go away. I think in the second half, a lot of that was the twos and the threes in terms of organization and execution and things like that. So uh, we got to clean some of those things up. But overall, it was a, you know, it was a positive first game. Uh, we won the opener, which was our goal, and now we can really move on. You know, we have a big test next week going down to Georgia Southern. and. I think we'll enjoy it tonight and move on tomorrow. What did you see from her? Continue growth. Yeah, I mean, I think I, you know, I've said it. You know, when I became the offensive coordinator, I, I think it's it's a hard position to play young. It's the hardest one, and you know, he played as a freshman, and he's building towards towards something, and that's being an elite quarterback. And um, I think he's a tremendous leader. I think that I have absolute confidence in him, and I think tonight, you know, he he was very very locked in. I think the more time he has to prepare. Uh, he can be a really, really top end player. Um, you know, he's going to get challenged next week, just like the rest of our team. But of course, I think we all saw what he could do um, along with the rest of the offense, which I was happy about. Uh, the, the receivers tonight, I mean, they really went after the ball. I mean, it was 
Yeah, they won a lot of 50-50 balls. Yeah, and I mean, we, to us, you know, I, my, my big, uh, my big point. I kind of joke about it, but, but I'm serious. I think if, uh, if you have good skill players, which I believe we do here, I think 67% of the time we call it, you're going to win 50-50 balls. So it's either going to be pass interference, it's going to be a catch, or it's going to be incomplete. So two thirds of the time, I'll take our guys. And tonight, I think they won the majority of them. Uh, I think we have tremendous skill players. They work really, really hard. They care about each other. I think they rely on each other. And it was good to see uh, you know, that make some plays tonight. But there's a lot of things that go into that other than just individual performances and you know, the quarterback, the offensive line, and people like that play into that. But you know, of course, a 50-50 ball making plays, it's good to see. So and, and besides passing, I mean, you guys ran for 151 yards. I mean, yep. you know, Reed and, and, and Joey Pitts did, did their thing. Yeah, no, it was good to see. You know, I think we were pretty. Uh, schematically, we, we didn't do anything crazy. You know, we, we tried to stick to to what we feel like we were good at, and uh, there was a couple wrinkles in there. But uh, we wanted to get a couple things on film, and I felt like in the first half we ran the ball pretty efficiently. We had one good drive there uh, in the second half. You know, there was too many MAs in the second half uh, in the run game up front. But you know, overall, again, I was I was pleased. We played a lot of players. You know, twos and threes are out there. I mean, you're playing a lot of different guys, so you got to manage your expectations a little bit because you got young players. But uh, you know, it's, it's important that they get out there and play in a real Division One game. So that was good. And you, sh- you shut down the run game. Yeah, I mean, that's that's something that I think is the, the calling card of the defense, and they take it very seriously. And you know, they prepare uh, at a very very elite level. And I've only been in two places, but they prepare at a very very high level. I think they're very well coached and. Uh, you know they have a tremendous mentality. They really do. It's it's very very competitive. So uh, you know that's the expectation. You uh, again, uh, you said you don't know about Deshaun, but yeah. with Manny, uh, it looked like you escaped. Uh, yeah, Manny's all right. Manny's all right. Uh, you know we're thinking about Deshaun right now. We'll see. I don't really want to comment on it until I have a full answer on that. It came out healthy otherwise. Uh, yeah, other than some getting dinged up a little bit. Yeah. That's as far as I know. Like, you know, to come out six possessions in the first half, six touchdowns, I mean, yep. couldn't have really started better than that. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I thought the execution w- was very high, and that that, that definitely, uh, you know, that definitely pleased me and, and made me feel encouraged. And, you know, that's got to be the mentality of this offense. We're, you know, we're challenging the offense to be at that high level. And, you know, we think we have an elite defense. I was, you know, I said a lot in the offseason, we have an elite defense that's trying to go from being elite to being, you know, the best in the country. Mm-hmm. And we have a solid offense that's trying to be elite. Mm-hmm. And you know, tonight there were some points where I thought we reached that. I think it starts at the quarterback position. Mm-hmm. And uh, again, I was pretty happy about that. Who we gotta really talk about that. Sure. But we'll sit down as a staff and go through that. So you know, it's we're listen, I mean, he's a he's an unbelievable person. He's a great football player, we all know that, but it's a next man up mentality and uh, you know, we're gonna put somebody out or he's gonna be able to do it. So that's the that's the idea of it. One more, right? Thank you. Well, that's it. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.